So I'm here in a beautiful family run guest house run by actually two brothers and I'm speaking with one of them right now and what's your name? I'm Ashraf. The reason we, the family, invested in the property was for it to be a winter home for the family. And what we try to do with all our guests is like maintain this, uh, this legacy of the house. So people who come and stay kind of feel at home and feel like part of the family. Mm -hmm. And tell me, what kind of fruit uh, you are growing? Because I know uh, during breakfast, I'm certainly eating some of these fruits. Well, Jericho is the backyard of Palestine. It's like an oasis. So vegetation, farming and gardening here is a big thing. And this is what we also try to reflect in the guest house. We have all sorts of citrus trees, dates, vegetables, mm -hmm. and they're all just planted in the right time in their season so that they can be eaten fresh. And there's some really interesting about irrigation here. Is that correct? Yeah. So basically Jericho, what makes Jericho an oasis is that it has three main water springs, one of which is called the Annie Duke. This is where we get our water once every six days for a small time slot of 15 minutes, during mm -hmm. which we can irrigate the whole garden using these thousands years old methods of manual routing of water channels. Here on the floor, those are, uh, this is like organic fertilizer from our chicken coop. And we also have a special staff that you will meet in a bit, who also have a great contribution to our compost pool. So you see, this is where we collect, collect their, um, contribution. their contribution to the compost. The other task of laying eggs in the morning for breakfast, but their main task remains discussing art. Okay, can we go and take a look? Oh, wow. Can you tell us about, about, about this room? Yeah, this is what we call the garden studio because mm -hmm. it's located separately uh, uh, aside from the house mm -hmm. on the opposite corner of the garden. As you can see, it has a, a nice patio in front that overlooks the mountain plantation and it's basically a small room with its kitchenette and private bathroom. So it's nice, it's uh, actually really nice and clean. And let's check out the bathroom as well. And so, the private bathroom and also nice and clean as well yeah and most importantly the air conditioning because in jericho it's really really hot in the summer and uh -huh. that's also part of our mission is to promote local and international art in the eyes of Palestinians. interesting so i guess what we're going to take a look first is a nice dorm room wow. very nice yeah and this is our dorm room lots of lighting lots of light with a nice view over the garden mm -hmm. And you know one thing, I may not have all the power, but I do know I'm in control of the temperature here, which is really important given how hot it is, can be in Jericho. It's true. All right, what are the other type of accommodations you offer here? So in the house here, we have three private rooms mm -hmm. and one shared room, which is the dorm that we just saw. And all of them have use a shared bathroom. Mm -hmm. This is the, one of our private rooms. This is the triple. And it also has a balcony that overlooks the Mount of Temptation and the monastery. And they all come with towels and chocolates. Well, wow. actually, chocolate is not so typical of here, but a guest of ours that came from Switzerland insisted that we distribute the chocolate that he left to all our guests. So mm. we're trying to live up to that. All right. And they all have access to a common room. balcony. Yes. My favorite, getting a fresh breath yeah. of air. It has a great view over the cable car, over the Mount of Temptation, over Jordan, and over the Dead Sea, and last but not least, over our beautiful mm. So, I guess we're going to take a look at the common area here. And I see it's pretty nice and comfy. We have the internet station, we have the TV for people who don't want to social students, if you would like to help yourself if you play any. Plus there's this small cute table we try to put in similar initiatives and friends of our partners as well. And uh, wow, nice clean, I guess clean stoves and uh, with all the accessories that's available to all the guests, I assume. Yes. Awesome. And coffee and tea is free forever. Really? Yeah. Would you like some? No hidden fees, right? No, of course not. Oh wow. Well, I know I'm safe. 
Well, thank you so much for showing me your thank lovely, you. lovely guest house. And if you all are in Jericho, please come visit this guest house and also the lab. <laughs> Is that you. his name? The lab. The lab.